Donna, have you ever done any public speaking or narration? Ooh, no. <laughs> How do you make narration interesting? Well, it's fun. You know, you don't want to sound like a boring professor. Not that there are any boring professors, you know, or just giving a lot of information out. And, and that's kind of what happens with new tour directors. They think they have to overpower the people with information. Um, and, and you're lucky today, too, because of the Internet. There's so much information as far as research. In fact, there's information overload now. You can go to the cities, the national parks, the attractions, the states. I mean, they all have excellent information that you can share with your group. But you want to find the interesting facts. I mean, some you, you definitely need to cover because it's important maybe to the history of that, of that area. Um, but find stories, and they don't have to be long. Just you know, maybe a few lines to a story, and that's the kind of thing people will remember. Don't overpower them with dates. You know, if it was something that was built, an area that was developed in 1947, instead of saying, in 1947, they built this, in 1948, they built this, something like, um, Right after World War II, when the, the guys were coming back and having families, this is the area that developed. That kind of thing. And then once in a while, pull those numbers out, and they'll go, oh, she does know. Because when you say, well, in 1912, this was done, oh, you know, it does show that you, you are, you do know it, no facts, and which, which is important. But you don't want to overwhelm them with just a lot of numbers. Um, personalizing it. You know, this was my favorite place when I was a kid. You know, this is, this is a city I just love. I've moved here 20 years ago and I love it. That enthusiasm and pers personalization will help. So there's lots of tips. We don't have time to cover everything now, but also how you speak. You know, if you speak in the same tone all of the time like that, they're going to fall asleep after the first 10 minutes. But if you talk faster occasionally, you talk slower, you stop talking. New guides have a terrible time. They can't stop talking. But if suddenly you stop, see, you're doing it. They'll listen. What are you going to say next? What is it? Um, asking questions. You know, you're going to Disneyland. What year did Disneyland open? People love to be the first one to say, ah, that year. I know the year. I know the year. You know, who was the mayor? So those are just a few tips. We don't have time now to go through all of them, but those are a few tips that I cover in my training to make it exciting and, and interesting and informative.